Greetings. What brings you here, White Wolf? Make yourself at home, please. Do we know each other? I've heard, or rather read much about you, in the letters of the Rivian Diaspora. Well, nice to meet you. Einar Gausel. Fundamentally a trader in old curios, although I also concern myself with the non-human community. Books in Flotsam? I wouldn't have thought it a profitable enterprise. Hey, many foreigners come through here. Sometimes they buy books, sometimes they have tomes to sell. Yesterday, for example, Lady Sheila de Tansevo purchased items for a sum equal to my yearly dealings. Did she buy anything interesting? De Vermis Mysteries, the Exeter Treaties, complete and unabridged, plus a very expensive volume I'd rather not mention. I should add, as generosity must be praised, that she made a donation to the community, specifically to the Fund for Widows and Orphans. The non-humans in Flotsam are organised? We aren't. But we aid each other as best we can. I mainly collect taxes and announce the Commandant's dispositions. That'd make you a prime target for Yorveth. <laughs> You're correct on that account. He's warned me many times, and I've explained the need for my function to him just as many. Both in vain. It seems we've agreed to disagree. Well, the sword is his calling, the pen is mine. Hence, no meeting of the minds. It wasn't always this hard. Turned sour when several elven lassies disappeared. We lost our trust in the humans and the Scoia'tael ceased trusting us. Did they turn up, the women? No. I believe Neckers killed them. I remember Morel of the White Hands. She and her lover made a beautiful pair. I want to play dice. All right, shall we? I'm lost! Hand over the coin. Here, but I'll not play you anymore. So, who is up for a game around here? Sandler's the best. We'll see. I spoke to the Commandant. The future hardly looks bright for the non-humans in Flotsam. That fucker's only waiting for an excuse. One small provocation by Yorveth and he'll attack us. How do you know? Heard it by chance. Saw him walking through the port one night, talking to himself, the batty bastard. He mentioned a new order and a world for humans only. He laughed and shouted curses at the prison barge. The scum is up to something. Yorveth must sense it. He's doing everything not to provoke Laredo, but his Scoia'tael might have a different opinion and less restraint. Laredo wants the Scoia'tael gone for good. He didn't say anything specific, but in his mind's eye, he saw them on the prison barge already. Yorveth's outsmarted bigger fish than the Commandant. Laredo's got something going with Sheila, so I'd take him seriously if I were you. You never know. Maybe the sorceress hunts more than monsters. You'll get a chance to show your mettle. If we're to capture Foltest's murderer, we'll have to clash with the Scoia'tael. I sent the boys out into the woods. Tough going, too dense. My scouts got ambushed and barely escaped. It's no picnic hunting elves in the forest. Tell me something I don't know. My people saw the Kingslayer again. He knows we're here, but he's not even trying to escape. Seems he's waiting for something. I think it's our move. So long, Roach. Come on, have a drink with us. I wouldn't mind a shot. Celebrating something? A great victory. Interesting. We did away with Veopatis, or whatever the hell they call him. Thirteen hacked off his head and nailed it to his arse. You behaved like swine. What? We're not allowed a bit of fun? It was only a wooden puppet. Come on, let's play our game. Right, toothpicks. Knife throwing. Care to try me? Gladly. Vess against the Witcher. Place your bets, gentlemen. Ten to one on Vess. Or on the wall. Vest wins. There they are. 
Those are the shitheads who desecrated Vale Patis' statue! Pitchforks! Watch what you say, Bumpkin. What's going on? Nothing. We had a little competition. They threw knives at a statue of Vale Patis. It's blasphemy! Are gods desecrated by soldiers? They're no ordinary soldiers, but blue stripes. Know what that means? Blue or green, it's all the same to me. They're horsons, all of them. What did you say? I, I, I just... You said what you thought. Good, that's the way. Beer for this brave man. And drink to my health. Here's to the whore's son, Vernon Roach. Vernon? You've got shitty glassware in Flotsam. Not fit for a hero, but I've got an idea. Drink the Horson's beer from the floor! Geralt, do something! I'll try. Vernon! Leave him alone, it's not worth it. You don't know shit. Consider this your lucky day, mongrels, and get out of here! I have to take a walk. You're too hard on Roach. I don't like sadists. Vernon was a half-orphan. What does that have to do with it? He was raised in poverty. His mother turned to whoring to keep them from starving. The other children called him a whore's son. Hasn't been able to handle that insult since. Come on. Let's have a drink. All right. Remember when we had a wait in the cave for reinforcements? How could I forget? We ate Pete, we were so starved. Ah, those were the days. Here's to Pete, tart and nutritious. What do you say to a little competition? A keg of beer to whoever beats Geralt at arm wrestling. And if Geralt wins? I'll give you my sword, a true antique. But it sacks off many a head. You don't make them like this anymore. All right. Me throat's a little dry. Pour us a drink, someone. Remember when our better lieutenant I could plough four elven oars at once? He said we'd sooner cross the sea on the asses of four whores strapped together to make a raft. I'd have managed it. Sure. If only there were that many elf women at the brothel. Let's begin. We'll see if Thirteen can beat the Witcher. Thirteen proves too weak for the Witcher. Keep practicing there, mate. Plow off the lot of you. Somebody pour me a drink. Remember when I rode my horse into a tree? Can't say I do. Have a shot. It'll refresh your memory. Gentlemen, now it's Fen against the Witcher. Geralt, the prize is yours. May it serve you well. Gentlemen, to our health. Just like after the Battle of Gag... Gagu... Gage. Aye, that was a right piss-up. We puked all over the battlefield. To paradise on whores' asses. Got drunk as Newt, you did. Never seen anything like it in my life. Anything like what? Such a sight. Meaning? Better you don't remember. But I want to know. I tell you for a few odd ends. There. Now talk. Talk to the madame. She knows the details. Greetings. What can I get you, fine lad? 
They say you know what happened here yesterday. I do. But you'd be better off not asking, darling. Talk. Nothing's for free. Especially in a brothel. All right. Talk. Five of you came in. Or crawled in, I should say. I was crawling? Indeed. One of the blue ones ordered five girls. I gave you the best because you showed me good coin. What happened next? This is the interesting bit. Because instead of ploughing them like the normal soldiery, you mounted them and told them to give you a ride to the port. Can't be. Ask the lass in the uniform then. Vess was here too? Sure was. She tried to stop you, but you were too much for her. Hmm? I talked to the madam. Is what she says true? I tried to talk you out of it, but you insisted you'd cross the river on the whore's asses. You tried for several hours, but it just wasn't going to be. What happened next? You said you wanted to be one of the blue stripes and had to get yourself a tattoo. What tattoo? One like ours. And you got it. Shit. Where are my things? You left them all over the place. I gathered them in that trunk by the window. Thanks, Vess. Nice area, isn't it? I prefer these little towns, forgotten by gods and people alike, to palaces and castles. It's survival of the fittest here. At least you know what to expect. So yes, I like it here. Is your hatred towards the Skoyatel some sort of revenge? You don't know me, Geralt. Human or non-human, it makes no difference to me. We were chosen to fight the Skoyatel, and that's the mission we pursue. To me, the Skoyatel are but bandits hiding out in the woods. If there were humans among them, I'd kill them in a flash just the same. How did you end up in the Blue Stripes? Why do you ask? Well, you're a beautiful girl and... So what? I'm not a nobleman's or merchant's daughter. All right. I may have the looks, but with my background, the best I could hope for was to be a maid in some roadside inn, or to work at a brothel not unlike the local one, using my sweet lips to give blowjobs for a handful of coppers. So I'll stick to slitting elven throats, thank you. You know what you want, and I like that. You're quick to pounce, Witcher. Except you've got the wrong girl. I like naughty girls. Really? But Triss seems so sweet. All right. Roach has decided you're sailing with us. Fine. But it wouldn't be the best time even if I fancied you, which I don't. I need your sword, not your dick. Anyway, as far as I know, you're hardly indifferent to Triss Merigold. Does that bother you? I don't care. But I'm not about to mess with the sorceress. The man we're looking for is much more dangerous than any Skoyatel. Must be, if he managed to outwit Geralt of Rivia. It wasn't the first time someone tried to kill Foltest. I killed an assassin before. That means there could be more assassins out there. If anyone screws up, it won't be me, I assure you. I'm a soldier because I'd do it well. Ever dreamed of a different life? Finch, our marksman, once tried farming, but he just didn't have the hands for it. Bet he'd get me right between the eyes from 80 paces off. A hundred. I've tried cooking, darning, smiling like a doll, serving beer in a tavern. None of my thing. Where might you be going? Uh, what kind of question is that? Anyway, know where I can find an elf named Cedric? Don't get involved in this. Hmm. You did turn pale when we met Sheila. You must have imagined that. I know you too well. Sheila's one of the most powerful sorceresses. That's no reason to fear her. She can't be trusted, in my experience. I know her to be devious and manipulative. Any proof? She's well aware you lost your memory, yet pretended she didn't know. And why would she do that? I don't know. Her true intentions have always been hard to fathom. I'll see if I can't learn what they are. How? 
I'll go hunting with her. Right after I find Cedric. Well, then let's go see him. He should be at the top of his observation tower. In Belk. It'll be nearly a year now. Moril would delight in a day like this, Saharan. Enjoy the memory of her. Don't wallow in the long. I try. I do. But I cannot believe all the bad blood this disappearance has bred. Don't let others shade poison your memory of her. Hatred is but an outlet for helplessness. Thank you, Cedric. Raphael. Raphael. Are you Cedric? Who asks? Geralt of Rivia. Ah, the Witcher. And? Triss Marigold. Lovely scent, Triss. Cedric, look at me. What do you want, Geralt of Rivia? I aim to kill the Cairn. Heard you might be able to help. That depends on the sort of aid you seek. I need information. We should have killed it years ago. No. Now I don't know. The beast has become too large for the riverbed. And it has strange growths on its tentacles. Extremely thick skin. Previously, it inhabited a swamp along one of the Pontar's tributaries. Completely wild terrain. Even the Scoia'tael don't venture there. You should go see the wreck of the boat it recently sank. Inspect any traces it's left. See the destruction. Where's this wreck? Venture south into the forest, then turn east toward the river. You'll find the ruins of a bridge erected long ago by the Enshe. The wreck lies at their foot. Thanks, Cedric. Don't venture so near the forest. You'll find me by the boat wreck. Sheesh, Triss. Sure you're not overusing those teleport. I need to make a few orans. You wouldn't happen to have a job for a witcher, would you? There's never a shortage of work for a witcher in this forest. It's positively teeming with beasts. Though I'm not surprised they come here in droves. Know why that is? Cursed places attract all sorts of scum, like dung attracts flies. There was once a great house in the clearing. They locked up lunatics there. During the war with Nilfgaard, it was raised in a fire. The lunatics broiled in their cells. The ruins remain cursed to this day. Two daredevils went off to explore the ruins recently. They haven't been seen since. A great house, you say? Tell me more about the building itself. It was an old manor house that was converted into a mental institution. There was no shortage of lunatics in wartime. They just kept coming. Reverend Mercey locked them up in there and looked after them. If you find the two people lost in the ruins of the mental asylum, you stand to be handsomely rewarded by them or their families. No harm in trying. I'm looking to hunt in this area, and I could use some advice. I'm no witcher. I set traps, snares, try to keep Neckers away from Lobinden. That's all. I'm aiming a little higher than Neckers. The old man? Meaning the Cairn? Finally, Laredo's splurged. Listen, I'm not one to teach your grandmother to suck eggs. You witchers know your work. But if you pay me, I can prepare a useful trap. What kind of trap? Puncturing trap, immobilizing trap, even decoys to pull monsters into an ambush. Whatever you like. Since I can easily finish off an ensnared necker, it should be child's play for you. The elf woman you were talking about. How did she disappear? Sir Harim believes the forest took her. What do you believe? Moril simply vanished. Almost a year ago now. Some say she was too beautiful, and Dwan must have harmed her. You believe that? If I have no evidence before me, I try to trust my feelings. And they tell me the forest did not take her. Why would you keep that from Sir Harim? Because it's meaningless. Perhaps she was murdered, perhaps she departed on her own, never to return. She's gone. And neither I nor Sir Harim can reverse that.
What are the Scoia'tael fighting for? Do you ask about the old ones who hoped to restore our race to its previous glory? Or about the young ones who fight for survival and out of suicidal revenge? Yorvith's warriors. Which mold do they fit? They believe they are still independent and that there is but one just way to view their cause. In truth, however, they are but a shadow of the Enshe's former glory. They cling to delusions to the very moment when a sword or a noose ends their life, or until they realize the truth themselves, which is, I believe, the worst. Who exactly are you? One who warns humans against the dangers that lurk in the forest. Care to clarify? I am old, even for an elf. Yet the forest is older. I've lived in it for years and understand it, though it's nothing I can explain. At times I make mistakes and people don't come home. So you help humans? I just know if it's safe to venture beyond the gates or not. Maybe I'll come back when you're sober. You witches live a long life. You may indeed get to see that day. Good luck. <laughs> Greetings, Witcher. Witcher? Enough work for three. But what of it? We're poor folk. I'm sure we can work something out. Ye best go to Flotsam Town Square near the inn. There are notices on the board there. Just leave the troll be, please, no matter what the townsfolk say. Any other jobs? Well-paid jobs? Go seek the old man. Laredo splurged on a sorceress, so he's clearly got means in the budget. You mean the Cairn? Call him whatever ye like. I mean the River Beast. He troubled our great-grandfathers already, but he's become unbearable recently, tearing through nets, choking fish with venom. Even Laredo says that since the local economy be harmed, There'd be no choice but to hire a sorceress. What sorceress? You mean Triss Marigold? Lady Sheila de Tanserville. A significant person, but poor as a temple mouse, just like ye. Seems spellcraft and wealth don't go hand in hand. They say she's agreed to kill the old man. So hurry if you want to jump in before her. What do you want? I heard you're the local arm wrestling champ. You bet I am. I'd like to change that. Many tried, and walked away with shit in their britches. You want to go? You bet I do. All right, come with me. Let's do it now. I'll be tied up later. All right. Strong as an ox. Here are your orange. Once we had a company of Adam Pangrat's mercenaries here. I'm the strongest here, so I took on a dew. But that lad's got superhuman strength. He beat me like a child. If you ever see him... Tell him Bart Bargy drinks to his health. All right. What's going on here? This whore's a Scoia'tael spy. Any evidence? What's it to you? Easy. She loiters around the garrison kicking us. Roderick said he bound her, but I don't believe that. I did! That's your evidence? Two of our lads are missing. Last seen with her. I only spoke to them. Then they went off towards the caves. That's all I know. The bitch is lying. She led them into an ambush. This ought to be easy enough to resolve. Look inside the caves. But they're crawling with all sorts of filth. I'll do it, but you'll pay me. Wait for me at the harbor. Scoia'tael arrows. This is pretty clear. Find anything in there? Two soldiers. What happened to them? They're dead. Half eaten, too. You sure? Their bodies are shredded like mincemeat. Uh, any idea what happened? Seems something lured your patrol to the cave. Unfortunately, the soldiers weren't prepared for what they found and paid for that. Just like you can pay me now. Sure, sure. You've earned it. You saved me, Witcher. Humans don't usually side with elves. I'm not your ordinary human. That's true. 
Any chance I could learn just how unusual you are? What do you have in mind? You'll see. You'll find me in the forest by the waterfall. Just remember, I won't wait forever. The forest is dangerous. You can't go alone. We elves have our paths. Don't worry about me. My medallion vibrates when you're nearby, and it only vibrates near magic or danger. Maybe it's warning you not to make a pass at me, lest I slap you. You're right. I should watch what I do. Listen carefully. People may say I'm a witch, but I don't deal in spells. You don't look like someone who'd come for a charm or a curse. So you either seek out sensations or hunt witches. Whichever the case. I'm not about to denounce you, nor do I want to see you dancing naked in the moonlight before Veopatis' shrine. How dare you! I want to buy some herbs. Herbs? For personal use. Take care. See you. Thank you, Master. Drives me mad. This cursed wood is full of scum, and that horse has lost his mind. Who might that be? The troll! For years he's been collecting tolls at the bridge, for which he's to keep the bridge tidy and drive away the scum. What's the problem then? Merchants from the port sent me to find out the what and why, seeing as this is the only path out to the port inland. But I found the bridge in ruins, and that cheeky cocksucker asked for liquor to let me pass. Across that pile of rubble, I says, and he smacks me so hard I see stars. Laredo's put a price on his head. If Laredo had his way, he'd cut us off from the world, that son of a bitch. We need a bridge, but a working one. And we need a troll, but a sober one. If you're looking to make some coin, hold off on killing the troll and see the village chief instead. He'll tell you all you need to know. I'm glad you came. Me too. But you see, there is one problem. Let me hear it. I really did lure those two guards into a trap. I know. I found the arrows. Exactly. You know too much. And only corpses keep their secrets. I solved your worm problem. I believe you, but the Commandant... Are remains proof enough? Quite. Here's your coin. Excellent work. In it? The finest hides and the tannins on half are either. A straggler here, a lobber there, sometimes a hapless calf. I've even got otter fur for you. You hunt? Oh, we must not hunt in the royal forest. Even children know that. Besides, it's too dangerous to go among the trees now. What with all those monsters? They must be finding more food in the area. A war's brewing, methinks. Not necessarily. The Scoia'tael attack merchants and ambush patrols. Ideal conditions for necrophages. We ought to wait for better times and be satisfied with the little things, like the good book teaches us. I'd like to play dice. Shall we play now? You're good. Here's your coin. I heard you deal in traps. Indeed, though that's not all I deal in. I don't want coin, I want something else. Suit yourself. Choose. I could use a design for a nitroglycerin trap. A what? You know. The kind that pretty much vaporizes anything that steps in it? Ah, the puff banger. The design's yours. Some help, finally. I thought I was done for. What's wrong? I'm fine, but my friend remains in that damned hospital. Cedric told me that two people went missing near the burnt mansion. I'm Rupert Brandhuber. I'm a medic from Edo, and I came here with a friend to look for a very rare species of herbs. These woods aren't the best place for herb picking. So we were warned, but the temptation was too great. We got as far as the site of the fire. No sign of herbs, but there was something downstairs. Something. What's that? Can you hear it? That's Grindley's dog. Feel that? Something approaches. Help us! Help us.